One of the principal objectives in designing a racing car is to find ways to make it really stick to the ground. Of course, the wings are a big help. They push it right down. And the big, wide tires help give the car a lot of grip. But the very latest innovation in ways to make race cars truly stick to the ground is something called ground effects. The way it works is this. The air that goes underneath the car, between the bottom of the car and the ground, is utilized to form a suction that literally pulls the car down to the track. I've made some drawings to illustrate the principle. In conventional racing cars like this, the bottom of the car is flat, and any air that might pass under the car creates neither lift nor any kind of suction. However, in the new ground effects cars, the underside of the car curves up slightly like this, and in this area here, suction occurs. Now here is a detailed drawing of that area. This is the bottom of the car here, and this is the track. The blue arrows are the air coming underneath the car at that point. First they come in slowly, then because of the constriction, they're accelerated, creating a low pressure area before they go out and slow down again. That low pressure area causes the car to be sucked downward toward the track. I've built this primitive little model out of my wife's hair dryer and a little cardboard. Here's how it works. See the curved surface here? That simulates the curved underside of these ground effects cars. The piece of paper will simulate the track. And once the hair dryer is started, the air rushing through here will simulate the air rushing underneath the car. And there's quite a bit of it. OK, now watch what happens. Air brushing out of here, but look. Suction occurs. Even with the air pushing right on out, there's a lot of suction right out here at the tip. Well, that's ground effect. 